Hey, what's going on guys? Dopesunner930 here. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to easily flash your DaVinci 3D printer with Repetti, your host, giving you way more features and allowing you to use your own filament. Believe me, this is a huge upgrade. So first thing you're going to want to make sure you do is power off the printer. Um, might seem obvious, but <laughs> just make sure you turn off the printer. Second, you're going to need to remove the back panel. There's two Torx screws. I'm not sure exactly what size they are, um, but there is two Torx screws. You'll have to remove those to gain access to the logic board. The reason why we're removing this is because we are actually going to be uh, jumping or shorting out the uh, EEPROM chip, which will basically reset the whole chip and allow us to flash it. So if you're on the DaVinci 1.0, it'll be JP1. Those are the two uh, spots you'll have to bridge or uh, jump basically. If you're on the DaVinci 1.0a, it's going to be J37. And if you're on the 2.0, um, I'm not too sure. You'll have to look for yourself. But uh, I just used a wire like this and connected one, uh, one to one end and the other to the other end. Um, you could just use one wire and lay it flat, but I used that way. And then flip the switch on as you have the wires touching both of the points on your board. And um, it should basically turn on and in a matter of a second or two, you should have basically flashed or re written the EEPROM to nothing, which will just give you these black bars. That means that you are good to go. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and plug in the cable from the DaVinci to a computer and hop over to the computer where you'll have to download Arduino 1.5.8. Make sure it's that version, otherwise uh, you might run into issues or it might not work. I'll go ahead and link you guys to this uh, page so that way you can just go ahead and download it directly from there. You're also going to have to download all of the files from the GitHub respiratory. I'll go ahead and again link you to this. Just click download zip like I did there and it'll give you all the files um, needed basically for this. So then you're simply going to install the Arduino software as you would any other software, just run through it. I sped it up majorly because it's a uh, pretty hefty uh, software and I didn't think you guys wanted to watch the whole install process. So it, it took like, I don't know, like a little over a minute to install the uh, full thing. Alright, so once that has completed, you're going to want to go ahead and extract that GitHub zip file that you downloaded. Um, it'll basically create a folder with all of the files in it. So um, for me, I just have it on my desktop and I extracted it there. That way it's easily accessible. You can really put it wherever you want, but make sure you can find all the files. So next thing you're going to want to do is open up that folder you unzipped and you're going to want to go under SRC. Uh, Arduino DUE additional Arduino files 1.5.8 and just stay there um, with the hardware folder. Then you're going to want to go onto your C drive under wherever your installed programs are and go to Arduino. And basically, you're going to copy over that hardware folder from the uh, GitHub to the install directory for uh, Arduino. And you're just going to click yes. You're going to allow it to copy all files and basically override the uh, few files. Um, like this one right here, the USB core.cpp, just tell it to move and replace and variant. Once that has completed, we are going to go and uh, under control panel, we're going to go under our device manager. So basically, you just go control panel, uh, hardware and sound, and then device managers in the top right, right there. And you're going to look for your ports. You're going to look for the port and it'll say ports, com, and LPT. Um, if you, you might want to unplug and plug in the USB cable again under ports. That way you can see which one it is exactly. Um, on this laptop, I only had one COM port and it was the 3D printer. But for like my desktop, I had four different ones and you want to make sure that you have the right one. So as I plug it in now, you'll see it pops up under ports right there. And it's the only one, so it's going to be COM4. Then you're going to go ahead and open up your Arduino software and you're going to open up the project that will be inside of the GitHub folder you downloaded. So Repetier firmware, it'll be under uh, SRC, Arduino DUE, and then Repetier. Just go ahead and open up that Arduino file. 
Then under tools, you're gonna wanna make sure you have the correct port selected again on this one as COM port four. And then under board, you're gonna wanna go all the way down to the bottom and click on native USB port because you are gonna be flashing um, the printer using the USB port. Also at this point, you want your printer to be on, make sure it's on, otherwise it won't be detected and you won't be able to uh, write the, uh, uh, you know, repetitive your firmware to it. And now that you're going to click on the configuration tab, which is going to be on the very top right there. Basically, this is where you're going to have to tweak some settings. If you are um, flashing the DaVinci 1.0, you want it to say DaVinci 1. If you're doing the DaVinci 2.0 with one fan, you're going to do uh, 2. And then if you're flashing the DaVinci 2.0 with two fans, you want to put 3. Also, um, where it says define model, you're going to want to have 0 for the first generation, which is 1.0. And you're going to want to have 1 for the 1.0A generation under define model and again under, it's right there on the very top so it, it says it in English so hopefully you can understand and see that but once that's done go ahead and click the check part on the top and that's going to compile the code once that's done you're going to click the arrow which will basically upload the code to your printer which again will take a little bit I sped up through it so you guys don't have to watch and um, you know wait for all that and essentially as soon as this is done your printer will make some noises and reset and you will have the repetitive your host firmware the last thing you're going to want to do is go over to the printer Go under your settings tab, which you do basically by hitting the right, um, the right arrow. That's how you click enter or navigate. So I go under settings and go all the way down. To load failsafe and then click right and then click yes do you want to store on the EEPROM make sure you select yes hit ok and it has been stored on the EEPROM and you're good to go guys that is it um, I hope this was as easy as possible I know there's another tutorial out there but it was very long and so I wanted to make it really straightforward for those that didn't want all this extra information um, I will be doing more so, uh, more videos on this on like how to connect it to repetitor on your computer and whatnot but anyways hopefully this helped you guys out don't forget to like subscribe and share if you have any more questions feel free to comment down below and i will do my best to respond or answer them in a future video as always guys again thanks for watching dope center 930 and i am out peace guys hey guys don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video and if you're not subscribed subscribe for new great videos every single week including monthly giveaways thank you so much for checking out this video and i'll see you guys next time